Alright guys, welcome back to Still Life. We are going to go into the attic now and uh, get some flashbacks, I assume. If I can remember what the attic is. This is her dad's room. Don't think there's an attic here. It's the sound of a computer though, so... That's always something. Dad's room? Why the hell would I go in there? I don't know, because you love your dad? I don't know. Oh my god! What the hell is going on here? This is enough to... Oh god. It's enough to get seasick, I was about to say, but that doesn't really... I don't know why, but I never liked that painting. Oh, it looks awesome! You have weird taste, woman. Now, where is the attic? In here, I think. Ah, yes, the trap door to the attic. I can't reach it. What was the trick to opening that thing again? An umbrella? Because I do remember something from it. Oh. Creepy. Well, there's dark. Perhaps light the thing up. Oh, creepy. Creepy atmosphere and creepy sounds. Reminds me of Silent Hill 2. I think it was Silent Hill 2. Yeah, it was. Alright, oh, this combination. Wait. Hmm, okay. It's not that bad. So. Oh my god, it's one of these. Oh my god, I hate these so much. Oh. I think I think it's best. I forgot about Yay! I made it! I have no idea how, but I did it. That was literally no thought behind that whatsoever, in case you're wondering. I think there's like a cutscene. Well, obviously this is a cutscene, but I think there's like... Prague, 1929. Two years had passed since the strange case in Paris. I figured I'd best leave town and come here. Quieter, or so I thought. The case in Paris has stirred my passion for PI work again. I had to let go of my dream of being an artist. It wasn't bringing in as much dough as being a private dick. In all, there were five dead and two unaccounted for. So far, all the victims were prostitutes. I didn't know if I would take the case. To my surprise, this cop Skalnik had no beef about me snooping around his crime scene. Yeah, now we start playing as her uh, grandfather in Prague. Which is both weird and... Uh, weird. It's very nice of you to let me have a peek. I'm Gustav McPherson. I'm a... Yes, a private detective. I'm familiar with your work, Mr. McPherson. I had no idea I was so popular. I've read about your case in Paris and the one in London. I'm Inspector Skalnik of the Prague Police. Alright. Is this the fifth victim? Yes, she is officially. Supposedly, there are two missing. Supposedly? Yes, well, you know these women. They come and go often without telling anyone. And then they show up again like they never left. So I don't bother with disappearances. So you only bother when they turn up like this? I see. We have a knight in shining armor. If you want my advice, Mr. McPherson, you'd best return to the usual missing person cases or husband cheating mysteries. This is a waste of your time. I How think so? you just convinced me to take the case. Really, Mr. McPherson? The press will not even cover this story. 
No one wants to know about dead prostitutes. If they do write about it, it will be about the killer and the number of bodies and not the actual victims. The pimps care even less. They force their women to work even if there is a killer loose. No one wants to sit at a dinner table and talk about this. There is no glory in this case. Like I said, you should stick with what you know. Shut up. I'm not gonna... Do you mind if I ask you a few more questions? Not at all. Seems like a dick, so I guess you do yes. mind. Is the cause of death the necklace on her neck? Of course it is. So right. it's not the multiple stab wounds to her chest? No. Well, we aren't really sure. Does she uh -huh. have any other significant wounds on her body? Yes. She has scars on her forearms and she is eviscerated. Eviscerated? I had never seen anything so horrible in my entire life. I'd only heard of horrors like this from the Ripper case in London. Oh my god. Were all the victims like this? Yes, they were all found like this. Lovely. Are all the organs accounted for? I'm no doctor, Mr. McPherson. I have no idea. In the other cases, were there missing organs? Not that I'm aware of. So Who's yes. Coroner? Emil Corona. He works at the old chapel. He's very... Well, I don't want to ruin the surprise. Uh-huh. Now it's your turn to share. Maybe you can tell me what you think happened. I think you're right about the cause of death. That slash across the neck was definitely it. The stabbings to her chest were done before the final blow to the throat. The defensive stab wounds on her arms reinforce this theory. What's bothering me, though, is the lack of blood at the crime scene. This probably indicates that she was murdered somewhere else, not here. Well, Mr. McPherson, I don't want to be rude, but... You have work to do, uh, of course. Thanks for sharing. It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you, too. I had Why? a feeling that the cooperation between Skalnik and me had just ended. He was testing me for some reason. I was left to fend for myself. Yeah, I believe so, too. So, I guess we should head back, then. This is chapter or something else, I don't know. But like I said, this is where we play as a grandfather, to find out what the hell happened, in connection Casimir between the two Stasa. cases. He's been a good source of info on a couple of minor cases I had here in the city. Hello, my friend. Ah, Mr. McPherson. And how are you this dark evening? I'm jolly good, thank you. I can't complain. You. And how's my favorite boy in blue? Besides my eye and this horrible murder, everything's fine. Amazing. How'd you get the Shiner? Shiner? Your black eye. How'd you get it? Oh, uh, I arrested a man last night, and for some reason my eye hit this man's very large fist. <laughs> Did you get sucker punch? Well, a little. My partner didn't have time to warn me. Everything happened so fast. I was helping the woman, and I turned around to see if my partner was okay, and wham! Next thing I knew, I was flat-faced on the sidewalk. At least you have a cushion in your stomach. What did the man do to deserve your undivided attention? He was harassing a young woman. So I asked him to stop, and then things got out of hand. The police are trying to find this animal. We're a little nervous when a man harasses a young woman these days. That's understandable. I imagine you don't have anything more to give me? Probably this not. This time I'm afraid I have nothing for you, my friend. Everyone is more or less at a loss. You don't mind if I ask you a couple of questions anyway? Of course not. How long has this been going on? It started about three weeks ago. You didn't hear about it until now? No. No, I wasn't in town. I just got back. I was working a case outside the city. Someone called me to see if I could come back and help. Ah, the very beautiful Miss Ida Skalikova, I presume? Good guess. She's worried for her friends. I told her I'd see what I could do. Can okay. you tell me about your new boss? Inspector Yuri Skalnik. He was given the case and got temporarily assigned to this district. He has a good reputation, but he doesn't share much information with us. He keeps to himself a lot. Understandable. What? He doesn't trust you? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe he thinks we're incompetent or something. Maybe. But he'd be stupid to think so. Flatterer. Thank you, my friend. Buttering the them up. Dumped? Yeah, I believe so. But then again, I don't have much information, as I said earlier. 
Was there ever an eyewitness? Nope, never. That's what bothered me the most. God, those hands. How is the killer getting around the city without being seen? The sewers? Well, I should leave you to your work, and I have to see my client. Thanks for your input. You're welcome. Be careful. Will do. Bye bye. Oh look, two young women. Let's go there. My Ida. The best gams in all of Eastern Europe. She's my angel and the love of my life. I met her on a small case I was working. She used to dance in the neighborhood cabaret. She was involved with the married man I was following. It was love at first sight. Hey. Look at you all dolled up. Hi, sweetheart. I don't like it when you call me that. I didn't call you a doll. I said that you were... Never mind, I'm sorry. Good. Now have you talked to that useless inspector? Yes, I have. And I didn't get much from the meeting. Are you going to help us? Of course I will. Is there really any doubt? No, but you never know. My guess is they are not going to be the ones who when get it together. When do you want to this, now or later? No, I don't want money, Ida. Nonsense, you will accept our money. How much do you charge? Okay, listen. We'll settle this after the case, alright? Do you promise? Because we'll feel insulted if you don't accept our money. What was I supposed to do? Take money off these women? That's the last thing I wanted to do. Yes, I promise. I will charge you at the end of the case. Yeah, right. What was her name? Who? <laughs> the victim, the of course. name? Oh, her name was Francisca. Were you close to her? Not as much as Milena, but yes, I knew her. Did she ever talk about a regular client or someone special? Not that I know of. Do you think Milena can answer a few questions? I guess. Let me ask her. Milena? Yes? This is my friend, the one I told you about. He's here to help us catch the man responsible. Do you think he can ask you some questions about Francisca? I'll wait for you up the stairs, okay? Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Swaying those hips. Oh my god, animations. <laughs> Hello, Milena. My name is Gus McPherson. I'm here to help stop this from ever happening again. I thank you, sir. Not a lot of people would help women like us. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about Francisca? No, that's fine. I was just gonna say, no, I don't want you to ask anything about the woman. How long have you known Francisca? Well, I've known her for a long time. We met in the orphanage when we were just little girls. Her uh, parents had died in a terrible accident. We became very close. We both left the orphanage never to return. We never liked the sisters. Ever since we left, we tried to survive in the streets, even changing cities. But we kept coming back here. Did she ever talk about someone new or special? No. It was not her style. Francisca would rarely take new clients. She had regulars and enough to allow her to survive. She would only take complete strangers if she absolutely needed to. Apollina is more like that. She always has a new rich client. Did she ever have a client that had been violent with her? No. She only had clients she trusted. How about you? Have you had any trouble with any of your clients? No, I'm like Francisca. I have only regular clients. If I'm on the streets, it's because I'm keeping my friends company. Were you close to any of the other victims? Well, there is one that was a common friend to Francisca and me. Her name was Anezka. No one's found her. She just disappeared one day. We honestly don't know what happened to her. And I knew the others only on a professional level. I'm sorry if I'm not talking, but I'm kind of in a rush to did get this Nesca done. Did ever complain about any clients before she disappeared? Or did she ever talk about leaving? No, we all talk about leaving. Who wants to live their life like this? But she never complained about anything. Nesca was like Apollina. She took on many clients. She left town a lot, but always came back with a broken heart. I hope she did find someone and left this place. Where can I find this Apollina? 
She usually works the park. Rare are the girls who are allowed to enter it. She's very protective of her territory. That's what she calls it anyway. Francisca and me were allowed in because Apollina knew we didn't take strangers and to pretty much have our own regulars. And Nezka was Apollina's good friend, so she was allowed to. So we all kept each other company in the park. Maybe Apollina knows where Nezka is. I don't know. Well, thank you for answering my questions. It was a pleasure to meet you, even under these unfortunate circumstances. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. McPherson. I thank you for trying to help us. Trying? I haven't even started yet. If I have any more questions, how may I contact you? Usually in the park. Again, thank you. Alrighty, guys. I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm sorry if this was a bit long. I'm trying to, I'll try to cut it down so it's not like 20 minutes long. But anyways, I'll see you in the next episode of Devil Make. Bye for now.